guys welcome back to my channel i'm jess in case you haven't yet subscribed please click on the red button down below and the notification bell just beside it to get more videos like this so let's begin in this video we're gonna talk about four important things and the first one is i would like to thank the new subscribers and i would finally want to inform you that i have been accepted to the youtube partnership program which means that my youtube videos are from now on being monetized all this could not happen without your support so thank you guys again the second issue i would like to talk about is do you think president uhuru kenyatta should leave to the curfew and other restrictions in my own opinion i think the first priority should be protecting life and property I feel like the economy should come secondary to life. What do you guys think? Feel free to comment down below. Guys, I would really love to hear your view on the positive and the negative effects of this curfew that we have in Kenya or quarantine in general. I feel like Kenya shouldn't be in a hurry to loosen up restrictions. We can see how that turned out in other countries such as Germany. As you can see, Kenya is not doing as bad compared to other countries as of 12th of March since the first case was reported. I think 1,962 cases have coronavirus and 474 have recovered and 64 deaths. But as much as our numbers are not that bad, we should not be reluctant and underestimate this virus. What do you guys think about that situation? Feel free to comment down below. The third issue that should really take time before a decision is made is should schools reopen? I feel that this is a really, really sensitive issue. We are adults and we know what is right and what is wrong and how to maintain social distance and also how to maintain our hygiene. But do kids really have this ability? I mean, they will go out in schools and play and maybe one person has a virus or you never know what will happen. Do you think kids outside in the playground will maintain social distance? And do you think we should use our kids as an experimental ground to see if things are okay with the numbers go up, with the numbers go down? I really feel that this issue should really take some time. But personally, I feel schools should be the last last option to reopen probably we hope we hope by september the cases should have gone down and at the same time i feel that covid19 is the current norm it's not going on anywhere we are just supposed to adapt this as part of our lifestyle wearing masks sanitizing checking the temperatures or anything but i feel that children should be protected the first i mean i know they are candidates and everything like that but do you prefer having healthy candidates or no candidates at all last but not least we're gonna talk about the current issue of racism you guys know where i'm going with this in case you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the incident that happened on may 28th in minneapolis where it was caught on video a white male officer pressing his knee against a male african-american for five minutes this incident ended up so bad that george floyd the victim lost his life i feel like racism is all over but in case you're a kenyan and you haven't yet really experienced this i really don't wish you do the moment you step i feel like the moment you step out of the country that's when you realize that you're black whatever we experience here in kenya is probably tribalism where they just check your complexion it's nothing compared to racism i have experienced racism so 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 many times it really deals with your self-esteem you feel worthless and there's just this white superiority that you want to be in their social class where you know this will never happen i feel like america has a long history of racism but as much as that all over the world there exists racism i just feel like racism happens every day the only reason that 
George Floyd has this kind of social media influence is because someone caught it on camera. It happens every single day. I really don't know if this issue in some way, in some world, things will change and there will be no such issue as racism. As much as we want it to end, I really don't think racism will end. And the funny thing is that as Africans or Black Americans, when we go to a foreign land, we always experience some sort of discrimination. But when a white person comes to our African land, he or she is treated like a queen, like a king. They're given first priority in so many things, in case you don't know this. I wonder where this white supremacy will ever end. I'm not saying that we should give them priority, but I'm saying we should treat each other equally. And I wish one day the world will come to realize this. But I would just like to offer my condolences to George Floyd's family. And I hope one day all this racism will end.